Welcome everyone. Had a few technical problems I was just dealing with, so I apologize for the delay, but I am here now and we are going to have an awesome time delivering some mail today in the Beechcraft Model 18. So, this is a quite this is quite an impressive airplane um, that has been created here as an add-on and like I've I've preached many times before not every add-on is worth getting, but this one is pretty awesome. I'm just going to make a few final adjustments here and get, uh, get this dev mode menu out of the way. The reason I've got dev mode active activated here at the top, as you can see this bar, is I'm going to show you later when we do a couple of landings um, how to use the replay mode so that you can review some of your landings. So that makes it... Uh, pretty fun just to see your landings from another perspective so let me just fix this window real quick I r had to restart my computer from from some technical things and hope I'm just glad we're up and running now um, also working on getting a new computer so I'm I am desperately due for an update if I'm gonna be doing a lot more live streaming so I'm working on that all right, let me just drag this up real quick. There we go, we'll get that out of the way. And we're going to get started here. I'm on live weather and live time. And we are at uh, Clayton J. Lloyd, Lloyd Airport in the islands. And I will show you where exactly we're at. We're gonna be flying into Princess Juliana International. Some of you may be familiar with that one. Pretty famous approach. And so, yeah, we're in the in the Caribbean doing some island hopping, and it's very exciting to be doing that in this vintage airplane. One of the most fascinating airplanes ever designed. Um, it's been used for so many things: skydiving, military, airmail, like we'll be doing today, um, pesticides, like irrigation stuff. I mean, it's. It's just been used for so many things. This airport airplane, a uh, transport, very interesting configuration with the the twin tail, and also a twin engine and a tail wheel. And um, I haven't even really looked very much at the inside. We'll worry about fuel in a second. I haven't really looked too much uh, of, um, as far as the inside of it goes. So let's take a look inside the cabin real quick because I haven't really done that. They did such a great job modeling this. I'm gonna slow down my my drone speed here. You can even hear it kind of creaking in the wind outside. So just beautiful interior. Did such a wonderful job modeling this airplane. All these little details and just such a cool vintage mach machine. I've actually uh, seen one in person and I did a tour on one in person so if you want to check that out that's another video I have on YouTube um, and it gives you a tour and goes over some of the history in this airplane so let's take a look at what are what we're gonna be doing today starting with um, let's get a better view of our airport here come outside the airplane Again, live weather, live time, and I'll give you an idea of where we're at on the map. There's some interesting new things they're putting now down on the ramp. Some kind of like copter down here. I'm not sure what this is. This could be um, something that's new from the 40th anniversary that they've added. It looks like it is. It's like some sort of drone copter, so that's kind of wild. And then a seaplane here. It's always interesting to see what they're going to put on the ramp. But we by far have the coolest airplane we'll be flying today. Looks like we're right at the fuel. Which is where we want to be because we probably don't have enough fuel. Hey, welcome Sean. Welcome Joe. Joe, I appreciate you being here. I'm here for you guys, so... Absolutely, man. Um... There's no, really no need to thank me at all. I, I just love doing this and, and hanging out with you guys, so I appreciate it. Thanks thanks for being here. It means a lot. Uh, I'm going to pull up Navigraph charts here, 
And let's also get our stats going for our fly live stats so you guys can have the altitude and heading and um, those fun things at the top. So as you can see from the charts, we're going to go to world map and that will give you an idea of where we are. Now I also have an add-on I downloaded that will give us some much nicer boats around these islands where we'll be flying today. We're going to be flying a quick hop down to um, Princess Juliana Airport. So we're here at this island, um, Mart at uh, St. Martin, and we're going to be flying down, um, well this is St. Martin Islands, into Princess Juliana. So this is a very famous approach here. We've got runway 29 and 11 where we're starting out. Winds are, I believe, coming from the north. I will check the METAR. And then we're going to fly down to runway 10 and 28. So we're going to have some crosswinds. And this is a tricky airplane to fly for those who may have tried it. It is not the easiest airplane to land. So this will be interesting. Uh, interesting. I am a tailwheel pilot in real life as well. I have not been flying as much in real life due to the cost. So hopefully we'll get more people here and I can make some more money on YouTube and then I can do some more real life flying. But uh, I also love on flying on the simulator and I've got quite a bit of time in a tailor craft. And so uh, I, I am familiar with tail wheels. And in many cases, they can be even more tricky to fly in the simulator. So that's something to keep in mind. We're gonna do a quick, uh, just a quick hop over to this island and then we're gonna do another flight down to VC Bird International, which is another island. So it's going to be cool because we have multiple flights in this. We'll be delivering mail to a couple different islands today. We'll start out with a full load. Uh, welcome, Angel. And I uh, really appreciate you being here. Hey, thanks so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Um, yeah, could stop by the British Virgin Islands. Angry Brit. Um, and welcome, welcome. Um, great to have you here all the way from the UK. Very cool. And yeah, some tax avoidance. That's hilarious. We'll definitely be checking out the BVIs in another stream. We'll do a couple islands today. And again, I have an add-on that I purchased that will give us some more realistic um, boat traffic. So that's cool. Is this microphone like that close to me? Oh, well, that's fine. At least we might have some good audio quality okay so Sean yeah I hope you're doing well Sean has flown from Puerto Rico to Princess Juliana very cool so you're familiar with Princess Juliana so uh, without further ado we're going to get started get the airplane fired up and taxi over to we're gonna be taking off on 2-9 because of our winds and just to confirm let's get the um, Let's get a wind check and METAR. Now, I don't do that on the radio because, like you would in real life, because it's just, if I turn the voices on from the menu, we're gonna get the um, air traffic control talking to us, and the air traffic control in this simulator is, I hate to say, just not good. So I don't wanna turn on voices and get the ATIS that way. I'm just gonna do it, what I've been doing is just doing it online. So I'm going to go to TQ, PF and type in the ATIS and that will give us our wind check just to confirm what we should be taking off on. I'm looking at Sky Vector right now and we've got, let's see, where is our METAR from Sky Vector? May just go to a different, different yeah, I'll go to AirNav. Um, so AirNav is saying, where's our wind check, boys? Where is it? Looking on these websites and they're not giving me a METAR. Let's try this one. We could even type in weather. Um, and let's and then type in our location and um, Nightbot might even be able to find it. So let's see. I'm gonna try it out. I'm trying out some new commands from Nightbot. And just as I'm getting up and running again on live streaming, I'm going to be adding more and more features. Did that work? It looks like it's not recognizing it. There it is. Okay. Mostly cloudy, 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds blowing from the 
south southwest at nine miles per hour. I don't know if that's correct um, because I just checked it pretty recently and it was coming from the north. So it's all good. We can just look at our windsock. We're going to be pretty much VFR today. So that's one of the best things you can do uh, when you're VFR is just find the windsock at your airport and check it out. So let's just scope that out real quick. Is the windsock down here? There's one right here. Okay, cool. So, so we will actually want to take off from 11 because wind is coming way more from, so that actually could be correct. Um, the wind is coming f more from the south. Or I'm sorry, it's kind of coming from the west. But it said south-southwest, so that could be accurate. So we actually want to taxi down to runway 11. So that's a good start. Without that knowledge, we should not even take off. So now we have the wind check we know what runway we're going to take off on so let's start going through our checklist to get fired up here and go have some fun again this is a kind of complex airplane to fly um, i'm still getting to learn it and in some cases the simulator can be even harder than real life because in real life you can really feel things when you're flying you can feel the wind feel the behavior of the airplane so that's the only thing about simulating that you're just not getting is the feel which is okay because it's still so much fun and it's just getting more and more realistic. So I'm going to come up to my checklist here. I'm going to open up the window as well. I love that they have detailed all this. I like to have the window open to start up. I could even open the other one. Just helps me hear the engine better and make sure that we're clear, etc. Um, we do want to get a little bit away from this fuel pump to start up because we're way too close to it. So I'm just going to get a little friendly pushback here with shift P. That'll get us away from this fuel pump. I didn't realize we would start that close to it. So let's just get a safe distance away from that. They've got a few different liveries to choose from. I tried to pick one that was a little more islandy that I like. But I also would love to find a livery that is just the, um, just no paint, you know? Just a polished silver look would be awesome. And I'll have to look into if any, any of mail carrier companies, um, if they have any liveries for that. Okay, that, that's good. We're going to go ahead and, and go with that, maybe a little further back. Give me enough room to turn around here. This airplane does turn very well on the ground, though, and I'll teach you how to use the tailwheel lock when you want to have that locked and when you don't. Okay, that is fine. Okay, now we'll come back in here and put the parking brake back on. First things first, cabin doors are closed, which they are, and that's just talking about the, the door in the back. And our controls are free and clear. You can see I'm checking the ailerons right here. And then we can do, you know, just make sure our controls are free and clear. Landing gear is down, and we've got our parking brakes set. Now we're going to turn on our batteries and generator switches. I'm going to click this to get it out of the way so we can see. Those are right here. Perfect. And let's just check our fuel. Do we need fuel? Let's check the tanks right here. Okay, and yes, we do. Definitely need some fuel. So I am going to come up here and we'll fill not quite all the way up, but maybe like 90% is fine. And then since we're going to be carrying some mail today and packages, we are going to, we won't have a co-pilot, co um, but some of these we want to add some weight to. So let's add, you know, 500 pounds, 500 pounds here. We'll do 500 pounds here. And that's about a thousand pounds there. Let's see if we can, now we wouldn't actually have seats in the back because this would be an airmail plane. So we're just going to pretend like there aren't seats and we're just flying cargo. Let's 
try another 250 there. 250 there. Let's do 200. 150. 175. Alright, we've got some serious weight now. We're going to be flying. Um, might not even want to do quite that much. We'll change these to like 400. Okay, and that's fine. And we're, I mean, we're going to be pretty heavy. And then when we get to the next island, we'll drop everything off. So we've got all that set. Good. Now let's check our fuel down here. These are in the correct position. These sh should both be in the center for our fuel selector, both on main and for our trim. I have the, my trim mapped to my joystick, so I'm going to go ahead and trim it up to between 1 and 0 is about what you want for takeoff for this airplane. Flaps are up. Mixture. Mixture, we want full rich for startup. Um, oil shutters, we're going to leave those up. Manifold heat, we're going to leave up. Oil bypass in. Circuit breakers check. This is where we do a circuit breakers check. Um, we can just check that our warning lights are working. We could, you know, just hit them and do a test for that. Okay. And then we would just pretty much check our lights. Make sure we're good. Make sure they're working. And we can um, also set all our altimeter. So let's go ahead and set our altimeter. I could really use that METAR, so I know. Our, here it is. Okay. So 0, 090 0 at 11 knots. Got a few clouds at 2,000 feet. Altimeter. What is Q1016? I got to do a conversion, I believe. Do I have to do a conversion for that? Yeah. Got to do a conversion into, let's see, Imperial. So let's see. Altimeter conversion. For barometric. It's gotta be, I gotta get something that does this like, I'm sorry, I need to be more prepared for the altimeter stuff, so in the future I will. Um, since we're at sea level though, I'm just gonna put 299 or 2. So right about, we'll just set it to, we'll just set it to zero, that's fine. Okay, and now we're going to turn on our mags. And then let's move our starter over into the left position. We'll start up the, actually we'll start up the right engine first. Let's open this up and let's turn on our beacon. So that people know we are starting up. Oh, I just just clicked the yoke away. How do I get that yoke back? I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that one back. <laughs> I hit it though. That's okay. I mean, it it helps to be able to see things. Okay, there it is. It's it's down here. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So you just have to click down here. Interesting. Okay. Now we are ready to start up. This is where I would yell clear prop out the window. So we're going to say clear prop. And then we're going to boost and start, which is a little different than how you would do it in real life, but it's just what we got here. And we also want to crack the throttle to about an eighth of an inch to a fourth of an inch. And we have got power in the right engine. Beautiful. All right.
Alrighty. Now we're going to go to the other engine. So let's switch this to the left. And again, same thing. This is a beautiful sounding airplane. I just absolutely love the sound of this engine. You can't beat it. And we have both engines started up here. Okay, beautiful. Everything's looking and sounding good there. Now we are back in the hot seat, so we can ch we can turn this uh, selector back to the middle. And let's get our avionics on, which are upstairs. There we go. Those are going to fire up, and we're also going to turn our transponder on. And we're gonna squawk 1200 because we're flying VFR. Perfect, we'll put that on standby and we're about getting ready to go. As you can see, here's our flight in here already, which is cool. Put this on GPS. And we don't really need to worry about much. Um, we'll probably, since we're VFR, we'll probably just do a flyover of the airport. This should be a, well, Princess Juliana actually, what is that, a class, is that a class E? Let's see what class airport that is. Boy, those engines are sounding good. Love it. I'm just going to see what class airport this is real quick. Could be, could be a class E. No, there's a tower. It says there's a new tower. So it could be a class D. It's tough to say. Um, it's hard to find information of stuff that's international too and not in the US. Some of you may, if you flight simulate, have realized that. <laughs> it's much harder to get like charts and things when they're international versus when the US there's plenty of free stuff available. We got runway 10 and runway 28. We're going to be landing on 10 just because that is what... We need to do at that airport. Got an airport diagram here. I'm just here. You know what? We can just go to this to our chart. And let's type in does it already have our flight here? No. Yeah, it does. No, that's not right. That's from an old one. We're gonna unload that. That's from my last live stream. And we're gonna do um, we're going to type in TNCM. Okay, here we go. Perfect. We also got a VOR approach and an RNAV approach if we wanted to do that. I don't think I'm going to use that though. Let's look at some of the airport info here. Here we have the diagram, perfect. This is what we want. This is what we want to look at. Um, because wind's coming from the south, southwest, we probably would want to land on 2-8. I don't even know if, can you even do that? I guess you can do that at that airport in certain aircraft. So we'll probably plan on landing 2-8, although landing 1-0 is a lot more visually epic at this airport. 
Um, we'll plan on 2-8 because we definitely want to be landing with the right wind with this aircraft. So... Yeah, let's just get going. I mean, even if there is a tower, we're not going to be talking to the tower. So, it's a pretty small airport anyway. And I haven't been doing VATSIM yet. I mean, I've done it before, but I'm not doing it right now. It's just there's enough enough workload to manage for me at the, at the moment. Okay, so now that we're started up, we just want to check our oil temps. Got our oil temps here. Everything is looking good there. Let's go to... We did our, our transponder and then our lights. We'll go ahead and turn these on. Actually, we don't need them on. It'll, it will only be daytime right now. Um, Seatbelt and no smoking doesn't matter because we're flying cargo. And some of these are in op. Still looking for the landing light. I'm not sure if that would be under here. Just says lights as required. Okay, landing lights right here. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on because we're gonna be taking off very shortly. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on. Before we take off, we will do a run up. So it is time to taxi. I'm gonna turn off the parking brake. And we're ready to go. And the engine cow flaps, I gotta hold the brakes because it just started moving. Engine cow flaps are gonna stay where they're at now. We won't change those until we get up into the air. So let's go ahead and start our taxi. I gotta fix my um, pedal real quick. Alright, there we go. We're going to back up a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Give us plenty of room to get turned around here. We're going to taxi down to runway 11. This airplane will start moving pretty quick, so you gotta be careful with that. I mean, it's already wanting to go way too fast. Of course, we would want our ailerons into the wind as well. while taxiing and if we're going to be turning away from the wind we want to be down and away so now we're going to push down and away from the wind still flying the airplane even when it's on the ground we'll do a nice chill taxi down the runway Such a neat airplane. Pretty tricky to fly though, it can be pretty frustrating. Um, you definitely need a, an idea of how a tailwheel flies if you're going to be flying this airplane. I would definitely start out with something more like a Cub, like the X-Cub or something along those lines. We're taxiing a little fast here, I'm going to put on a little brake. go that's better and we are pretty heavy so this will be interesting while we're taxiing down just want to keep an eye on our temps we're looking good and I'm gonna go ahead and put the flaps down to one degree 
And let's get our autopilot mode set up to heading, that's fine. Probably gonna do manual heading for this flight. What I'll probably do when we get there is I'll fly over the runway around um, 1500 feet and just do a flyover. Make sure we're feeling good about it, everything looks good, and that way we can just get a little more acquainted with how, how it's all going to go and where we're going to do our downwind and our base and final. So as you can see, this is what you do at this runway. You taxi down and then there's an area at the end to turn around. Still got my window open. And this is where we're going to do our run up. Let's get over here. And for our radio, we'd be on a common traffic frequency for this airport, so we would just do public announcements. Let's get flipped around here for our run up. That's perfect. I'm going to set the brakes. I'm actually going to set this as well. Um, the uh, parking brake. And for the run up, we're going to come to 1500 RPM and check the props first. So let's come up to 1500. Definitely seeing that that is making a huge difference there, so that is looking good. And then we're going to go to 1800 to check our mags. So let's come up to 1800. You'll be surprised how much you have to come up to get it to 1800. I'm also holding the brakes. And you can see our windsock out the window there. We're pretty much into the wind for the run up. Hey, Rithik, how's it going? Welcome, everyone. Coming up to 1800 RPMs for the run up. All right, and that's probably about enough right there. Now let's check our mags. We should see a drop here in the RPMs with the mags. Perfect, and let's check the other ones. Looking good. And let's check our oil temp. We can also check the carb heat. Good stuff. Okay. Let's come back on our power. Back to idle. If you guys haven't done so yet, um, be sure to go over to the community channel on my YouTube and vote for the next live stream. It's up to you. You get to vote. If you need a link to that, join the Discord, then go to the vote page under Microsoft Flight Simulator. There'll be a link there to the community page 
you can vote on the next live stream and what I'm going to be doing next week. Might do another stream in between then and now, but the vote will be for next Tuesday. Okay, so anyways, we're getting ready for takeoff here. Let's come back to idle a little bit. So we're going to have a little bit of a left crosswind on takeoff. Now, once we get lined up with the runway, let's get our, um, first of all, yeah, taking off the park, take off the parking brake. And then let's get the tailwheel lock secured. All right, that's fine there. So we're going to go ahead and push that in to lock the tailwheel for takeoff. You will find that will help you tremendously. Let's just check our fuel quantity. Check our lights. Autopilot disengaged. Transponder's good. Everything's good. Altimeter has changed a little bit. It's interesting. I'm just going to put that back to zero before takeoff. Perfect. And we've got flaps to one notch. Gear is down. By the way, this is the primer. If you're starting the engine and you, this is how you would use the primer, you would turn it over, pull it a few times, and then you can do the other side, pull it a few times, and then back to the middle. If your engine's not starting, you might want to prime it. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to shut the window now for takeoff. Make sure both windows are shut. Perfect, let's do this. We're gonna do ailerons into the wind. Start giving it some power. Let's try to get the let's try to get the tail off the ground. It'll give us a lot more control. All right, there it is, and we've got the tail off. Whoa, okay, okay, chill out. That's fine. How's that like kind of a weird view there? So I apologize for that. And we are in the air here. So a little uncoordinated again, it's in some cases just because of the controls and my peripherals in Microsoft Flight Simulator and what I'm using, it's like even more difficult than it could potentially be in real life because you just can't feel anything. You can't feel the wind. Like one wrong like little f maneuver on the pedals that I have and you could just be all over the runway. And um, so I've noticed even with flying a small tailwheel in the simulator, it can be more difficult than real life just because Things are a little too sensitive. So that's why we were just kind of a little all over the place there for a second. Once the tail comes off the ground though, um, that is going to change things. So once that tail lifts up, you really need to be on the pedals and, and just making sure that you're, you're dancing a little bit. We're in the air now and we're gonna climb up a little bit, but not too high because we wanna enjoy the scenery. As we're climbing up here, um, well, I won't I won't do the cow flaps yet. Let's check out these boats. And let's put the flaps up actually first. And the gear. Beautiful. And we are running some mail, my friends. Look at the sailboats down here. So this is an add-on that I did for much more realistic boat traffic. 
I just feel like that that's a really nice touch when you're in the islands. I love the islands and tropical places and like that just made it so much more real to me to have some better boat traffic and sailboats. So pretty neat. Again, I'm not going to climb too high here. We're just we're VFR, we can stay nice and low if we want. I'll probably climb up to about 2,000, probably just 2,000 feet. And then we'll get the autopilot going and you can see our GPS here. I'm getting us turned uh, to on course. Let's just kind of skim the island a little bit and check out the scenery. I'm kind of on like mostly medium settings now, but when I get a new computer, hopefully I can make things look better for you guys. Let's come back on the power a little bit. Start playing with our prop levers. That is looking good there. That might be a nice cruise for us. Let's look at our temps. Temps are... Okay, we definitely want to put these down. Oops. Come on. There we go. That should help with that. Gear is up. Flaps are up. We are navigating to our course here. But again, let's just kind of stay nice and low and just skim the island a little bit. Take a look, take in the scenery. This airplane I've noticed, really the ailerons want to go left on me. So I'm like having to hold the stick to the right. So I'm gonna use this ail aileron trim here. Let's just see if we can get the airplane trimmed off to a nice place, including the elevator trim, which I have mapped on my joystick. Right now it's wanting to go down a little bit. It's very sensitive. And this needs to come back to the left. Let's try one more click to the left. All right, that's getting a little better. Just gotta play around with your trims. We'll make it much easier to fly for you. And we're just passing 1,300 right now, climbing to 2,000, enjoying the scenery. Look at this uh, sailboat in the distance that we're coming up on. Looks like a vintage. Oh, that's cool. A couple of uh, cruise ships. Now I'm actually going to activate autopilot now just to make things easier for us to look around. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do roll, pitch, heading, altitude. We should be good here, but we want to turn this back around. No, 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 no. There we go. Let's get our heading bug right so we don't run into a mountain. Okay, good. That's good. Right it's about there. Perfect. Just keep an eye on our temperature. Temperature is looking much better little bumpy here over by the mountains definitely got some currents going on in here Rithic I do not have any live streams with VATSIM coming up but I can do that I can make that a part of the vote would love for you guys to participate in the vote um, in fact let me get the right link here for you and I can add VATSIM as part of a vote maybe we could go fly uh, find like a class Delta and make that a part of it but I don't, since I'm just getting back into streaming, it's just a little too much to manage right now with some of these new airplanes I'm flying. I would be more likely to do VATSIM if it's in an airplane I'm more familiar with. There's a lot of these airplanes I've been learning um, lately. And, you know, once you get the hang of a plane, 
then it's a lot easier to handle the radio communication as well. Look at this, folks. We've got some cr a cruise ship. Looks like a smaller cruise ship down there. Some beautiful water. You can even see some reef. And just look at the, the boats from this add-on. I think it was like 6 or $7 for me to add this on for a few islands. Just makes it so much more realistic. I love it. Things are a little bright. Still a little bright for me. Hopefully that'll change. Um, I've been playing around with different settings for that. I have not figured it out yet. The whites are just a little too bright. Look at this guy. Oof! There's a luxury sailor right there. That's quite a yacht down there. Very, very cool. I, I just absolutely love the boat traffic. It makes it so much more realistic. Let's get on course here. We're going to want to turn to the left. Let's get back on course. I'm going to put the correct link in the vote. For those who don't know about the community page on YouTube, YouTube has like a feed where I can post different posts just like social media like you would do on Facebook or Instagram. But YouTube has something like that. They call it community. And this is going to be the link to it so you guys can get to it. This is where the vote is taking place. So if I do exclamation point vote now, that link will come up. Derek, I will get to your question in a second love questions there is no bad question here we're all like aviation enthusiasts i i'm not trying to be a know-it-all or any of that like we're all in this together and we're just here to have fun so ask anything there are no dumb questions here gonna get a better view of our course here because we need to completely turn around but at least we checked out the island it's part of the fun with Microsoft Flight Simulator is definitely like the scenery as well you know we've got a heavy load and this is gonna be an interesting landing because I have not done many landings in this plane and again I'm still trying to figure out my peripherals and get the sensitivity down but yeah, that link is there now, guys. If you click that, you can vote on the next live stream. Voting is fun. It's free to vote. It takes two seconds. And um, I just think it makes it fun, you know. Some things, if they don't win, like, and I really like them, they'll, they might end up in another vote if it's something I really want to do. We're getting turned back around here. Just cruising at 1,400. We're getting back on course and we've got a nice short flight to the next island. Um, as far as the someone asked about the windows being open Derek um, I am not like 100% certain on this but 
I'm pretty sure you can open the window. It's just going to be very, very loud and windy. Um, it's It really depends on the speed you're going and the altitude. Because we're cruising at like 140 knots, could even cruise a little faster if we want. Um, it's just going to be kind of intense with the window open and loud and wind's going to be blasting at your face. I mean, there's another window here. Like... You could totally open these. I don't think there's any issues with that in the Model 18, unless you were, of course, to go like to higher altitudes and then you're gonna deal with not having oxygen. Um, but we would have to have oxygen on board for that anyway, because it's not a pressurized cabin. And on the way to the next island, we will check the weather again. Let's just really like enjoy this view for a second. Beautiful. Live weather, live time. Got some more boats down there. The marina's full. See, I love that. I can see it populating right now. I love how we get more full marinas with this add-on. Oh, this is from the marketplace. See something, it's called, like see something. SEA. If you do a search for SEA, you can get a few add-ons. Uh, I believe there's another one in Hawaii I might get because they modeled the ships in Pearl Harbor. I don't know why this thing keeps rotating on me. What's the deal with that? Everybody say hello to Charles. What he doesn't know is he doesn't want to be in the back of the plane though because it'd be very crowded with a lot of boxes and mail and I don't know, it could be fun. It could be fun. There wouldn't be any seats. So I might put you like in the right seat. You might have to be a co-pilot. We are gonna get this mail to Princess Juliana. It's kind of funny to say that because it sounds like we're taking it to a, a princess, a person, an island princess. And it is a pretty short hop, so let's go ahead and get the wind. I love seeing the shadow of the airplane as well. Yeah, let's get the information for where we're headed. I will do that while you guys are enjoying the view. And we've got wind 070 at 8 knots with an option of runway 10 and 28. So we're going to land on runway 10. Perfect. Like I said, first I'm going to fly over and just scout out the airport at 1,500 feet. It's pretty standard, 1,500. Check out the airport and then we'll get set up for landing. Very cool watching the island disappear in the background. Um, this airplane was also used for a lot of movie productions. Let's see if I can name a few. Um, it was used, let's see. It 
It might have been used in Octopussy, a James Bond movie. I believe it was. That was a C-45. It's very similar. It was based on the civilian Beach 18, though. Just to name one. So as you can see, we're actually about to pass the airport we're landing at. That's how quick this was. We're literally just flying from one island to the next, but then we're going to do another hop after this. So we're flying over, checking it out. There's our runway. There's 11. That's where we're going to be landing. Oh, I'm sorry, did I go the wrong way? Wait a second. This is back where we started, isn't it? Okay, I've been so distracted. TQP, yeah, this, I was gonna say, that does not look right. Okay, this is just back where we started. We're just touring the islands, it's fine. I mean, just looking at the beautiful scenery. We're gonna go back to Princess Juliana. I was gonna say, that does not look like Princess Juliana. Um, so I actually was going the right way before. I've just been, I just got distracted with, like, looking things up and talking to you guys, so. That's why it would not be safe to live stream in a real airplane, because that would be way too dangerous, way too distracting. But it's fun to check out all the boats. And we're just going to turn around and go back to the other island, because we actually were there. We were already there. So it's like a quick 10 minute flight in between each of them and we could cruise even faster. Let's take a look at like some of these little islands here. Look at this. It's so cool. Like what is on this? Interesting. Gosh, does that look nice or what? Can you imagine? Just pitching a tent there, or just parking your sailboat there. Unbelievable. There's a cruise ship. Everybody wave to the cruise ship. John Rambo movie, interesting. Just adjusting the heading bug here for our autopilot to fly it. And I'm pretty sure I left the landing light on, which is fine because we're not really climbing very high and we're gonna be landing very soon. Engine temps look good. Now we are going to land at this beautiful island. It's got some elevation. Then we're going to head over to VC Bird. Actually, gonna need to slow down soon. Start slowing down a little bit, and I'm gonna put my RPMs, my propeller back up. Didn't have to mess with the mixture because we're not climbing high. Some other flights with the Beechcraft, we can definitely climb higher. Let's just start getting an idea of what this is going to look like.
There is TNCM there, so... Here's us, obviously, and we're going to be going into... Um, what did we say? Did we want 11? Yeah. Yeah, so we're actually going to be landing... Uh, Oceanside, so that's good. That's what I said, right? 11. Yeah. Based on the wind, perfect. Cool, so let's come around this way. We're gonna start getting set up for landing here. I'm not even going to, yeah, we're stalling a little bit. That's fine, just give it some power. It's just complaining, it's fine. We're gonna turn this way. I'm gonna leave this up just as a, it's a much easier GPS for me to look at. Because now we're running a uh, downwind right now. Yep, we're pretty much on a downwind right now. 4.11. There it is right there. I can see the runway in the airport right there. What a crazy view, like, out this plane. It's so cool. This other little window up here. Trim, I'm gonna leave the trim where it's at. Feels good. Flaps are up. Might get a, a notch of flaps, and we're going to want to... Oh, I forgot to open these. Or close them, I'm sorry. But that's okay. For the cow flaps. We're about to turn a base. I'm going to slow down a little bit. And we're getting ready for landing here. Landing lights are already on. We're going to lower our gear, put down some flaps. Let's go ahead and turn our base now. Just ignore that. It's like a stall warning. Now let's put down a degree of flaps, which I just did, and our landing gear. Beautiful. I'm going to turn off autopilot and take control over everything now. It is now my airplane. Start turning our final. And we need to come down in altitude. Just to double check, gear is down, which it is. And I can turn this off. I can see the runway now. You don't want to come all the way back on the throttle on this airplane because it'll scream at you again. So. We don't want the engines to shut down. Here is our runway. I want to try to come in around like 90, 80, 90. We got the mail. We got the packages. Getting a little slow here. I'm gonna give it some power. And you're gonna wanna try to wheel land this airplane instead of stall. 
which I prefer wheel landings in real life if that's what you want to call them wheel landings going right over the sailboat oh you know what I just realized sorry <laughs> it's like the moment of truth but I want to turn on uh, replay mode so that we can watch the replay then if I screw up, we can see what I could have done better. I don't know. I mean, a lot of it's just like the sensitivity and figuring that out. Let's go ahead and start recording. All right, here we go. Looks like we're going to want ailerons into the wind to the left a little bit. To the right. I'm trying to figure out what the wind... Okay, yeah. Ailerons into the wind. That's oh, looking pretty good right now, actually. Maybe some right rudder. Let's cut the power. We got a nice, nice big runway to play with here. Let's just bleed off our speed. Beautiful little bump there. That's okay. Come on, stick it. Stick it. There we go. Start working it back. Get that tail down. There we go. Get that tail down. Okay, good. Ah, that thing is really yelling at us. I get it, I get it. Right, let's get this tailwheel lock off so we can turn better. Oof, that was a little rough, but just gotta get to know this airplane better. And like I said, I really think it's like in some cases harder than real life in some ways because you just can't feel the wind in a tailwheel, you know? And that's like the most important thing. Uh, I have not seen the new Black Panther movie. Okay, so when, yeah, when was coming almost right down the runway? Because that's what, that is about what it seemed like. Let's figure out where we're taking this mail real quick. We'll go right over here. So I have a feeling it might be at the other end. Yeah, let's go check out the other end. I think it's at the other end. We got to take off from the other end anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and put the flaps up. all these boats here enjoying this weather one thing I forgot is that I know I forgot is the cow flaps just something I need to keep in mind on the next flight once we're cruising but overall not too bad especially with such a heavy load Mail is here, folks, and we're gonna do one more flight over to our next island, which is gonna be VC Bird International, T A P A. Getting a little off course there, sorry. This thing wants to taxi fast. Crazy how fast it wants to taxi. 
just idling. You have to like stay on the brakes. Alright, now we're talking. Yeah, this is where everything's at over here. So we'll drop off some packages which will help get rid of a little bit of weight. It's actually not uncommon to be S-turning so that you can see where you're going. So in a tailwheel, just so you can see where you're going, we S-turn. to help see. Love the sound of these engines. Looks like we got an A310 over there. How about that? Someone's online in the A310. Where are we dropping off? We're going to drop off right over here. We'll definitely come into this airport at some point in the A320. I also saw that there's a 737 that people released, but like, I don't know if it's, if it, if it has good reviews or not, I'm not sure. There's just, there's really starting to become like quite a bit of airplanes available to fly a Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's kind of overwhelming. If you want to get good at one of them, you really need to like do quite a bit of flying with one. All right, we're going to put on the parking brake here and drop off some of our mail. Not even going to turn off, though. So we can get right back into the air. And let's put this back up for now. It's hard to get a hold of that other one. There we go. Alright, and how's our temperatures looking? Good. Perfect, so let's drop off some stuff here. But actually, before we do that, let's look at our replay. From landing. So, I'm using the replay function in dev mode. For those who would like to know. Whoops. I didn't mean to hit that. A little bouncy there. <laughs> There's like a forklift on the runway. <laughs> it's like, okay. I mean, really not, not terrible. Um, let's get one more look at that. So you can get a little different perspective here.
Let's watch it from here. Whoops. I mean, I had like the basic concept here, right? But might have been coming in a little too fast. Got a little bouncy there. That tail wanted to really stay up. Like it would not go down. As I'm bleeding off speed, it's still up, still up. Tail did not want to drop down. I mean, I was even holding back on the elevator. Could have been worse, could have been better. We'll see how the next one goes. Love the replay feature though. I was waiting for that for a long time. Okay. Did we get... How do we end up here? We like completely off course now. Where are we at now? Did it leave us where we left off? Oh, okay, that's fine. We'll just go into slew mode. Let's go back. Thank you, slew mode. <laughs> Whoa! That wasn't supposed to happen. I lose like quite a few pounds. be dropping off the rest of it at the next island. Alright, so let's taxi down and get ready for takeoff here. Look at those cruise ships over there. They look awfully close together. But I did see that this company who made these boats um, was working on the AI traffic for them. There was like another add-on where they were trying to make better AI traffic. All right, we got one more hop here to deliver the rest of our mail. This is a very cool airport. Just can't believe how fast this plane taxis. I mean, this is just such a beautiful airport though. And it's so cool that you can fly like an A320 or an A310 into here. You have some terminals, a few gates. So neat. Look at all these boats, these cruise ships that would never be that close together. Coming down to runway 10. I keep getting our runways confused today. I might have said 11 earlier just because the other runway that we originally took off from was 11. And this is 10, they were just so close. And numbers. Looks like there was some improvement done to some of this down here. Look at this resort. Huh. Interesting. All right, we're gonna get turned around. Normally we would also do another run up here, but we don't really need to because we know we've been We never even turned off the engine. We've been flying. Everything's good. Hasn't been that long. All right, let's get this reset. And we are 
ready for takeoff. And so is this A310. Looks like they're coming over here. So we'll get up before they get over here. We're going to do flaps to one notch. Oops. Fuel selector's good. Cow flaps are good. We can put this down. Mixture's full rich. Car peed off. Oil shutter's fine how it is. And let's get rolling, folks. Oh, we got to put in our next destination, though. I didn't even put that in yet. Okay. Let's do that real quick, because that is going to be T-A-P-A. -A. So let's go... Oops. How do I get over to... I want to direct to... Do I have to push it? I used to know how to work this thing. What is... I know I'm missing something here. Thought you hit this and then it moved. Is it just not working? No, this thing's got to be functional. What's the deal with this? Direct to TAPA. I need to type in TAPA. It's not letting me. It's not giving me a cursor. Okay, well, we can do it on Navigraph. We got another GPS here, so that's fine. So we're going over to right here. We're going to do add to new flight. Origin Airport is going to be where we are now, which is TNCM. All right, and that is fine. We'll just do create. And we could just follow that. Totally fine. We're just going to be heading southeast, basically. So that'll get us to like the general right direction when we take off. All right, here we go. Where's my wind saga? Whoa, that is loud. I think we're, yeah, aileron's going to be a little bit to the right end of the wind here. Let's put our yoke back on. Oh, we want to lock this. Perfect. Here we go. Whoa, really wanted to go right. Interesting. I guess it wants to do that when the tailwheel comes up. I don't know. We're already off the ground, though. Very interesting airplane. Super tricky. I don't know why it's, like, freaking out about stalling. Stall horn is awful in this plane. All right, I'm going to put the flaps up. Still headed down the runway here and gear up. If you guys keep watching the streams, you can watch me just probably keep getting better in these airplanes because, again, I haven't really, like, flown this very much. And let's start our turn. This is making a very strange noise now, almost like we have a jet. Which we don't. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> I'm 
We're just gonna come up to 1,500 because I like cruising low. I think it's cool. It's fun. I mean, realistically though, in real life, you'd probably climb much higher for this hop here. Why does it not show where we're at? Okay, there it goes. So let's actually let's actually be more realistic about it and climb up higher for this leg. We'll climb up to like six, maybe eight thousand even. This is a little bit longer flight, I believe. Perfect. And that'll give us a chance to play around with the mixture. And looks like we're going to be climbing up above the clouds as well. Got some clouds coming in. Just partly cloudy. Looks like they're scattered or broken at 2,000. How's our temperatures doing? Yeah, we need to put these down. And I'm gonna go ahead and engage the autopilot. to pitch up so that we keep climbing. I mean, how far are we realistically going here? Let's see. To this next airport. Okay, yeah, I mean, we've got a ways. We can climb up to climb up to 8,000 feet. Cool. Pitch up a little more with the autopilot. This airplane will climb really, really well. Let's check our temps. Gear is up. Flaps need to be up, which they are. Oil temperature is looking okay. RPM and man pressure looking good. We'll continue our climb. We're uh, going to be passing 2,500. There's the engine sound we want. We are now leaving that island behind. We got the A310 up in the air as well, climbing. Looks like they just took off. Beautiful, beautiful, everything is running smooth. Love that you guys are here right now. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. This is the PC that I'm currently running now. Really want to upgrade to um, the 3000 series graphics cards and 
an i9 and I also need a lot more hard drive space because I only have like two 500 gigabyte hard drives on this computer I need I need at least two terabytes especially with everything you can download with Microsoft Flight Simulator let's check out some of these views such a gorgeous airplane let's come back on our mixture a little more Heading the right way. Now we need to turn a little more to the left. We've got a nice little, nice little leg here that we're going to be running. Look at this gorgeous view. Wow! With these clouds, are you kidding me? Living the dream. Flying a Beechcraft Model 18 delivering mail in the islands. What more could you ask for? Every now and again, I'm just going to keep checking my temps. Very important. Don't know why the GPS was not working. And we're going to put this to heading mode. There we go. Got to be very careful with like clicking around and moving your mouse wheel around and all that in a cockpit. You don't know what could happen. It's like I accidentally disengaged the, the right autopilot mode over here and didn't even know it. So we're stalling a little bit. We need to decrease our climb. There we go. As we get higher in altitude, we need to start decreasing that. That's good there. Just passing 5,500. It'll probably go to 6,000 feet. Probably just cruise at 6,000. Yeah, that's perfect for this flight. Actually, um, because we're on an east heading, and we're we're flying eastward, like northeast or southeast, we're gonna fly at an odd altitude. So we want to be um, at like an odd number. So it'd be like five thousand or or seven thousand plus 500 feet since it's VFR, I believe. I'll double check that. So, we'll do 7,500, yeah. Let's bring our Mixture back a little more. Beautiful clouds. I'm also going to get the ATIS weather information for where we're headed which is VC Bird International Airport. If anyone wants to meet me there, multiplayer is on. You're welcome to join. Join in for a minute. Um, might even do like a touch and go on the pattern 
And that is T A P A. Should be there in about 20 minutes or so. Looks like we got winds at zero nine zero from zero nine zero at nine knots. Okay, so directly from the east. Altimeter 1014, so that would be, I'm going to get out my chart here, 29er, 9er, 4. And we're almost to 7,000 feet. We're going to be leveling off at 7,500. Altimeter 29er, 9er, 4. Somewhere in there. Let's start to level her off here. In fact, if I just hit altitude hold, I believe it will hold the altitude for us. So I'll just activate that when we get to 7,500 here in a second. Pretty amazing. How's our oil temp doing? And the green there. Let's come back a little bit. Okay, and altitude hold. That should level us off. Perfect, love it. I think this is gonna be a nice cruise for us. Let's bring these down a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit more. Nice. All right, that's looking good. I like that. What a beautiful sounding airplane. Let's look at some of the views it has to offer. I like under the belly. It's neat. There's a landing gear shot. Let's go ahead and turn our landing lights off too. Might as well. Looks like up might be off. No, no, off's down, up's, yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be up on. We'll leave nav lights on. Everything is looking good. All right, so I'm gonna come out here and let's just, I'll keep an eye on our, our route. But I'm gonna um, just enjoy the view and play a track, play a little tune.
And then after that, we're pretty much going to be like starting our descent pretty soon. Probably could go a little more to the left here. There we go. It's cold outside, let me keep you warm Baby, bring your body close to me We'll be heating up when we're making love Baby, that's how it's supposed to be Cause darling, you, you got my temperature rising
Alright guys, pretty soon we're going to start descending down and we're going to be landing on runway 7. 
I've just been checking in on everything. Everything's looking good. Just enjoying the views. Enjoying this beautiful weather. Again, things are a little too bright for me. I don't know what the deal with that is. I'm going to keep trying to fix that. Or maybe just a new computer would fix it. It didn't really seem to used to be that way, so I don't know what's going on with that. For those of you still with me, I appreciate it so much. Thanks so much for flying with me. It's awesome to have you here tagging along. It's one of the highlights of my week is being here with you guys. I think this might be our little island coming up to the left. Keep an eye on the GPS here. Turn a little more to the left. Go to like a heading of 120. Although, actually, we should probably stay on this heading because we're landing runway 7. So, yeah, we'll stay at 150. And let's go ahead and start descending down. So, I'm going to come back on the power. Pitch our knob down here. Autopilot. Pitch trim knob. Start inching that down. Start a nice slow descent here. How small can I make this? I wish I could make that smaller. That's okay. Runway is going to be going 070, so it's going to be a little bit like this. So we'll be on a nice base. We're basically going to be on a base for runway 7. We'll just be entering the base and then turn final. Get this mail delivered. These people need their mail. Especially if this is like. 50 years ago, you know what I mean? It's like, it could take weeks. They could be waiting for a letter for weeks. Actually going to give it a little more power. And let's start working these things back up. Go one more click. All right, looking good, looking good. The autopilot on this plane does work very well once you figure it out. You do have to have roll on. That is like your master. Um, I wouldn't mess with the bank angle. I guess you could, could play around with that when I'm not live. But I just go roll, heading, pitch, and then altitude hold mode is once you get to your altitude, you can click that and it will hold it pitch will 
lets you use the trim to pitch down and pitch up, which is what I've been doing. We got a nice speed going on this descent. I believe that is our island right there in the distance. Yeah, that should be our island. Much smaller island. Or maybe it just looks that way from here because we're still pretty far away. Again, we're going to be entering a base into the base and then turning into runway 7. So we should be on a heading of 070 at that point. We have like a 9,000, almost 10,000 foot runway to play with, so that's nice. It'll be fun to do some bush flying in some of these airplanes. Very excited to check out the DC-3 as well. That is one of my all-time favorite airplanes. Can't believe they finally came out with that. I'm super pumped on that. I just need to learn it before I do it live. So let's see, at Imali we want to be around 2,500, so we need to keep coming down to 2,500. We are just coming down to about 5,000 feet now, so we're going to descend a little bit faster. There we go, that should do it. Let's turn a little more to the south, just to be on a better base here. Passing through some clouds, just doing some cloud surfing. put the chart behind me so I can see it but it won't take up too much of the screen 4,000 feet now target 2,500 for when we get to Mali and we'll work our way in from there Engine temperatures are looking good. Altitude coming down to 3,500. Airspeed's good. Once we get closer, we'll put our gear down, put a notch of flaps down, and we should have a little bit of a right crosswind on landing if the winds are coming from 090.
I will just double check the weather here just to make sure. Check the weather for Antigua. Just get the general general information here. It's not quite like as accurate as a METAR, but as long as it says winds coming from the east, we're good. Is it still looking for it? Hmm. Gives Nightbot something to do. There it is. Oh, that's saying Guatemala. Okay, so it didn't find the right location. I'll just look up the METAR. BC Bird International. METAR. And there's our 2,500. We're going to hold that. Let me get us uh, cruising here for a second. So we don't want to go below that right now. The mixture can start to go back up. That is looking pretty good right there. So we'll just hold that at 2,500 for a minute. I am going to get the METAR real quick. VC Bird International. This report was made 19 minutes ago. Wind 8 knots from the east. Varying between northeast and southeast. Pressure 1014, so 299 or 4. Got a few clouds at 2300. So accurate. I think they're getting better and better at doing the live weather, so it's very cool. We've got the clouds, winds coming from the east for landing runway 7. Pretty sweet. It's nice when everything's going as planned. Knock on wood. All right, I'm going to turn to start getting turned to the east here. Perfect. We still got a ways to go. Give it a little bit of power here. You can see right next to me right now, you can see our location and the, the pointer we're going to be heading in and get lined up 073 this is a hold we're going to go Imali at 2500 then to Bopar and just basically visual approach at a small airport like this and this airplane I'm not going to do any fancy approaches we're just going to be VFR I would love to get this working now at some point. I don't know why I couldn't get it to work. Normally you hit this or something of that nature and you'll get a crosshair here and then I can type in my if 
Then I could type in my airport and then do a direct to. So I don't know what is going on with that. Just won't let me do anything in here. I don't know if that's just how this airplane is right now, if it's just not working. I'll have to figure that out. But that's okay because we have another GPS with Navigraph. Start to get lined up here. Standard three degree descent here from Bopar. Bopar will be at 2,000 feet and then we'll come down in a three degree descent. I'm going to start coming back on the power. Start bleeding off some speed. And let's get our cow flaps open. Car peed on. We're almost done with our second mail delivery of the day. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? Sorry, I didn't see your comment there. Welcome, welcome. Hope to see more of all of you on the next live stream. If you look at my YouTube channel, I'm going to put the next live stream at the top banner on my YouTube channel. So it'll always say at least one of my my live streams that will be upcoming at the top of my YouTube channel and um, also on discord there's announcements on discord I'm gonna keep that updated YouTube community page oh, I forgot to change my my timer link for the vote but that's fine at least gets you to the discord channel there there's a link to it all right, we're getting to 2,500, and Imali just about lined up here. Let's turn a little more to the east. And we're going to start descending. We want to come down to 2,000 now. Let's see if I can see our runway. Oh, I see it. I see the runway. There it is, way in the distance. We're going to be coming over these hills, which is pretty cool, or mountains, whatever you want to call them. This is a much bigger island. I believe this is Antigua? Much bigger island than it looked from far away. Nothing like island hopping. So we're going to come down to 2000 for Bopar. And then we're going to pretty much just turn off autopilot. Not too long after that, put on, put on some flaps, put the gear down. Landing lights coming on. OK, beautiful. Car peats on. Fuel tanks are good. Mixture's full rich. Temperatures are looking good. 
Cow flaps are open now. Getting a little off course here. Let's turn back this way. And let's start slowing down. There we go. Let's get nice and slow here on our descent. Um, we can level off here for a second. That will really slow us down. There we go. Looking good. I've got a visual confirmation, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to turn autopilot off and just be in full control from here on out. Here we go. Goodbye, autopilot. And let's put one degree of flaps down. Another beautiful island. Look at the water down there on landing. Oof. B E A. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Look at all the boats. I'm going to get distracted. All right, let's put replay mode on. So we can watch the landing and then we can enjoy the view after that. Right now, I need to stay focused. Gear is coming down, folks. Should have a right crosswind, which it feels like it's pushing me to the left of the runway right now. Looking good though, looking good. Gears down, got one notch of flaps. We're gonna go to the second notch of flaps now. We're on a nice long final. For those of you who can't see the runway, I will zoom in so you can see it better. It is right there. Let's put our prop levers all the way forward, which they are. Landing lights on. Yeah, we're good to go. Mail's coming, folks. Mail's coming. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this landing. We'll see what happens here. I need a little right ailerons into the wind and then some left rudder. This is a lot. There's like a lot of people here. Oh, getting a little bumpy. Getting a little bumpy.
If any of you guys have tried this airplane, I would love to know what you think. It is pretty touchy. It's a little dodgy. power here. Coming in a little high, but we got a big runway to work with here, so we should be okay. Let's see if we can get it on that right wheel. Come on. There we go. Let's work it back. I'm going to cut the power. Good stuff. That's what we want. I don't know why it's like yelling at me with the stall horn. It's like I get it. We're stalling. We're landing. I mean, Maybe there's a switch somewhere where you can turn that off. Alright, and welcome everyone, and we'll watch a replay of that as soon as we get off the runway. I'm much happier with that landing. I'm, I feel like starting to get the airplane a little more wired there. I was pretty hard ailerons into the wind to the right, and I had to use a lot of left rudder with that right crosswind there. Now that we've landed, let's put the flaps up. We can go ahead and turn our landing lights off. Obviously there's some AI errors up here with these vehicles. On these smaller islands, that's going to happen the simulator because they just haven't really focused on these little islands. Let's get our tailwheel lock off. There we go. Alright, and where are we going here? So I don't really know this airplane airport super well. Okay, we can go right over here. This is like a much bigger airport than I was expecting. 10,000 foot runway. Wow, look at all these planes over here. It looks more like the general aviation area. We're gonna go over to this area for shipping. We'll just say this is where the mail is going over this way. And I'm pretty happy with that landing, so we'll take a look at it. I'm gonna open this window. Ah, fresh air. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. We're gonna park right here to unload the mail. Beautiful day here. Let's put the parking brake on so we don't run away. Alright. Oof. And we'll check out a replay, but first let's uh let's actually shut it down first. Turn off our nav lights. Come upstairs and turn off the avionics. Good. 
Transponder's off. Good, good. Okay, and we can go ahead and just cut it with the mixture. Alright, then let's turn our mags off. And battery. That'll do. All right, and then we're gonna take a look at that landing because I think I felt much better about that one. And here we are just unloading the mail now. So we will just um, take off all the weights, of course, but I don't think they, and I, I don't know if GSX, I gotta try out GSX for the ramp services. I don't know if they would have, like how that would work with this airplane. Um, like if I were to call a service with the ATC, I mean that could be interesting to try. Um, if I were to go to, okay the radio is off, so the radio would have to be on for it. I wonder what would happen there real quick before we check out this replay. If I were to turn on the batteries and then turn on avionics. What would happen if I requested ground services for this airplane? Nothing? I don't think they're giving me any ground services. Request taxi? No, we don't want any of that. Let's tune to the ATIS. Let's tune back to ground, ground services. Yeah, they don't have any ground services here. I was just curious about that. GSX might. If you, I don't know if you guys have heard of GSX, but that's an add-on that you can get to have much better ground services. I'm also going to look into that in the future as we continue this flight simulation journey together. And now let's check out the replay. Now that we're all powered down, ready to get out, stretch our legs. Did it not record? Oh, no, it didn't record. That's okay. Well, I'll have to look at the replay when I replay the live stream. That's sad. Oh well. I think I forgot to hit record. Might have forgot to hit the record button, but I felt much better about that landing. And let's get a quick eye on this. Airport. I'll have to be better about that in the future. I apologize. Because it is fun to look at the replays from different views. But I can replay it on the live stream and, and get an idea of what it was like from the cockpit. Again, we've got some much better modeled boats over here. Like if I were to, let me increase the drone speed. I do think it's a great add-on to have better looking marinas. Very cool. And that's just one section of this island. Look at this guy. Hello. Alright. And not only in the marinas, but also out in the water. More sailboats. Wow, look at these little islands. There's like other little islands over here. Nice. Just absolutely gorgeous from above. Love it. Just can't beat a day in the islands, island hopping, especially in a twin beach. So, I'm sure we'll be doing more of this. Um, I did some island hopping in the past in the Cessna 208, but this is even more intriguing to me to fly the twin beach. Beautiful job with this airplane. I could see why it got over four star ratings out of five. Um, and having flown it now and used it, I can I can stand behind that. They did a wonderful job. It's a little touchy. Might just need to get to know the airplane more. But uh, thank you guys so much for joining in. That was so much fun um, doing some mail runs in the islands and checking out some of these boats. Already excited to do another live stream. I also would like to review the DC-3 at some point. Um, 
might be able to get in a live stream this weekend. I've been really busy with starting an, a unique Airbnb situation um, so that I can try to have more time for you guys in the future. So I've been trying to um, to do some investments that could set me up for that. And just having you guys here means the world. I would love to do, like, the goal is to try to get to two streams a week right now, um, doing one. But I might throw in another one when I'm able to um, and even stream some other things as well. But it's hard enough just keeping up with Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's so many new things coming out with the 40th anniversary. There's just so much fun stuff. I just dropped a video on the Wright Flyer as well. If you want to check that out and learn more about the Wright Flyer and um, how you can kind of have more freedom with it. I talk about that as well to be able to take it wherever you want in the world and how to use it and what it was made out of and things like that. So now that I'm in, I'm in this beautiful, beautiful location, I am ready to go check out the island. Now that I've seen it from above, we'll go check it out from the ground. Maybe do some snorkeling, maybe some scuba diving, maybe some snuba diving. Um, spear fishing, try to get out on one of these sailboats and just enjoy this beautiful weather. Might even have to have a margarita. We'll see. Looks like this is an old runway here. That's very interesting. You notice how it's X'd out. That looks like it could be an old runway or it's just X'd out because it looks like a runway and they're just saying don't land here. I know it looks like a runway, but it's not. So that's pretty interesting to see those double X's there. And I'm sure in the future we'll get into some more challenging landing situations because today we had quite a bit of room to play with on these runways. There are some pretty big long runways, which is good. That's what you want to practice on before you end up in tight situations. So thank you guys so, so much. You are the best. And I cannot wait to be back with you again soon. Um... Hope that you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. And that was a lot of fun. So I'll talk to you guys soon, hopefully here and on Discord. And be sure to go vote. Um, as you can see, this last comment here will take you to the Discord channel, which then you can find the, the community YouTube link to vote. Actually, I think if I type it in here, um, because the timer is not doesn't have the right link, but if I, if I actually manually type in vote, I'm going to fix that. But it should give you the right link here. Any minute now. <laughs> Nightbot's been a little slow for some reason. There's like quite a, a delay with Nightbot right now. There it is. Okay, so there's the link. Click on that. Go vote for the next live stream. I love to, to have your input. And it makes it more exciting for you guys and more interactive, so. Anyways, take care, have an amazing day, and happy flying. I'll talk to you guys soon.